Hey everybody, stock again, Bulbor 101, you can pick which one you prefer. Uh, this is the start of a new thing I want to do. Uh, every week, like, every week I want to upload two kinds of videos. I want to upload on the weekend a gameplay style video where, if you're looking for more Shakedown Hawaii, that'll be taking place next week. Uh, this kind of video, though, is more of just something casual. It's not going to be as focused on the gameplay as much as it is just me talking about stuff I want to talk about. Uh, someone asked me to play Left 4 Dead, so I'm going to play Left 4 Dead for them. He was kind of my first, subscri like, first subscriber since I rebooted the channel. So uh, this is kind of a tribute for him, so you know who you are. Uh, here you go. Here is your Left 4 Dead. Don't mind the mods. The main thing I want to talk about... There's three main subjects I want to go over in today's uh, stock talk. Let's go, you know what? Let's call it stock talk. That that rhymes sort of. So we'll just go with that. Um, I guess we'll start with who am I? Why why is there a PNG goober in your face talking? Who is he? What's his deal? Um, I told you my name already. The name's Stock Bulbor One Hundred One. A few other names people know me by. You can call me whatever you feel like. I'm not your, I'm not your dad, so I don't care what you call me. And I started the channel because I wanted to try it. I just wanted to see, is this YouTube thing, like, can I do YouTube solo? That was the main premise of starting the channel on my own. I've been, I've been on YouTube before. I've appeared in some... I, I am in a group channel, TOS. They are. It's a book dedicated to an aut to making an audiobook for a series. Hold on, let me. Uh, okay, that that's not how you're supposed to do it. Uh, evidently, I'm. I haven't played Leopard in a while. Cut me a break for not crowning right. Thank you, Bill. Um, the main idea of. The TOS group, what I'm a part of, is they're making a book, and eventually an audiobook, for the book, T T TOS, aka The Other Side. And I was brought into that. Uh, I voice a couple characters in the book. So, and then we started f doing some YouTube videos on that to promote it. And I kind of liked doing the YouTube thing a bit, so I started this channel to, hey, YouTube's fun when I'm hanging out with my friends. What if I uploaded some stuff on my own? That and over the last like three years, at least 12 different people told me you should stream, you should record YouTube. Oh, there was a charger behind me, I didn't even see him. Uh, like people have told me to do this, so this is me just like doing it because they told me to and I want to do it. I'm not really looking for any major like goals with this. Like I don't want to become a famous YouTuber. That's not the goal. I'm like if even the option shows up for me to like monetize the channel, I probably wouldn't take it. Like I don't want to make money off YouTube. I have a job outside of this and I have pretty good financial stability both with the family that I live with and the money I make stock and groceries. So, I'm happy with my lot in life. I don't need to become famous on the internet. This is just to entertain people. Like, if one person watching this is entertained from start to finish, then I have done my job. I, I can go to bed happy knowing I did what I set out to do. That's, that's the end game. It's just, I want to entertain people, and this is a medium of doing it. So that's that's me. That's that's who stock is. That's my introduction to you guys. Uh, I wanted to talk more. The the second talking point. The other second thing I want to really talk about, and this will probably go for a bit longer, is I'm kind of I'm going to be hyping up the book a little bit here. The thing I'm a part of. The the other side. I was brought into the group. Just they just told me, hey, I need someone for people for an audiobook. Would you be interested? I hopped in because 
I've always wanted to voice act. Uh, the Shakedown Hawaii video, I didn't do my best job, but i decently confident in my abilities to uh, do voices and, like, act things out as long as my face isn't shown, because I get nervous in person, even more than I do in recordings, and you can probably tell I'm a nervous wreck in these videos. Um, oh, right, 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 right. But I was brought into that. I got one character. One character turned into two, turned into four. Uh, now I'm voicing at least five characters in the first book alone, potentially more as we go through. It's a five-book series, by the way. Uh, it's not just one book. The fir like, the first book's about to release. Like When I post this, the first video will be out before the year is over, and I do intend to buy them. There is nothing anyone can say that is making me not buy that book. And as soon as we do that, like, we're going to get into production for getting the audiobook done. And again, with the... <laughs> oh, this is a lot of people. Okay, hold on. Just doing this for karma. Uh, sorry about that. Um... But yeah, I'm really excited for the book. Like, I've I've always wanted to voice act, you know? This is the thing I wanted to do. And I have to thank the boss of the project, Ella, for giving me the opportunity to kind of chase my dream. And in a way, she's even kind of given me the confidence to chase after YouTube. So if you're watching this for whatever reason, boss, thank you for kind of giving me confidence and the chance to live out the dream. And I'm just... <laughs> I'm not really showing it right now, because it's still like, oh, I'm recording a video, I don't want to say anything dumb. Uh, I... Oh, for, come on. But thank you, AI. Um... I mean, I did say in the other video I wasn't too good at this stuff, but it's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Take breath. Okay, we good. Okay. So, part of an audiobook. Uh, I'm gonna want. I'm gonna try and put the channel link for the group YouTube. If you, for whatever reason, like watching me, and you want to see more of me, or any more people, because the four main people that are part of it, we're all really. I'm, I'm, we're all good at the voice acting thing, and we're decently entertaining, too, so if you want to see that as well, like, a more thing, uh, I'll link the, the channel for TOS, both in my channel link, and I'll put it in the description as well for this one. I'll put it in the description, because only fair, right? Okay, good. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll put it in the description. You can check us out if if voice acting... Really, the things we're doing right now is mainly voice acting over video games, mostly horror stuff, because that's the stuff Ella likes, as well as the other members of the group. Also, it kind of fits the tone of the book, because, ooh boy, it gets kind of creepy sometimes. Like, if Darker Stories is your is your jam... The other side is going to be your cup of tea. Without a doubt. The book? Like, yeah. Check out the channel if that is something you're interested in, is seeing four amateur voice actors. I don't mean that as an insult, that's just a matter of fact. Like, just four up-and-coming people that are doing a voice acting thing. Just having fun with voice acting and promoting for an audiobook that's coming out. Like, go check them out. It's it's a fun time. All right, but enough talking about me. Like, I'm not. I'm probably not the main reason you can, actually. What am I talking about? I sorry, sorry, sorry. Good, I'm good. I was told to stop saying sorry so much. I'm trying my best. I was very tempted to say sorry there, but 
at this point, that would just be parody. Uh, at the time of recording this, the I, this is going to come out of nowhere. I'm just trying to think of more stuff to talk about while I do a campaign. Uh, the Nintendo E3 just came out. Like, not the E3, the Nintendo Direct. The Nintendo Direct, sorry. I, I miss E3. Uh, Nintendo Direct came out. Sorry for the visuals. This is going to be a thing. But yeah, the Nintendo Direct just came out for the end of end quarter of the year. Safe house in the pawn shop. And I'm being honest, it was like it was kind of a bit tier direct for me. Like it wasn't my favorite direct of the year. But I like like there was some cool stuff in it. I mean, on on like the last reveal of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door remake, that one did get me to be really excited for that. I'm also excited, of course, for uh, Mario Wonder. And that's going to be cool. Uh, trying to think of the... Oh, uh, Detective Pikachu 2. I loved the first Detective Pikachu. It's my favorite... Like, out of all the Pokemon side games, that's this is including like the big ones, like Mystery Dungeon and that. I kind of prefer Detective Pikachu. I just, it's a fun little detective game, and I love Detective Pikachu's overall personality in those games. It's a fun time. And I'm really excited that they're making another one. Mario Wonder, of course. Um, I, I don't know if you could tell, but I kind of like Mario. There might be a few hints to that. Very subtle, I know. Excuse me. So I'm excited for that. And surprisingly, I'm also... Like, the, when they first introduced the Peach game, the Princess Peach Showtime, I think it's called? At first, I was just like, oh, okay, it's uh, something. Like, not the coolest looking thing in the world. But maybe it could be cool. Like, Super Princess Peach is surprisingly fun if once you figure out the mechanics and how it works. And you don't mind having a completionist mindset, which is already kind of something I have, so... Yippee for me, I enjoyed Super Princess Peach. But then they reveal, like... so. But either way, I wasn't too excited about the Princess Peach game. Then they reveal the trailer, and they show all the costumes for Princess Peach. Like, they reveal Swordmaster Peach, and I was like, okay, they're going to make Peach into kind of the Paper Mario... Mario RPG uh, Mario movie level Peach where she is kind of a badass. And you know what? That's plenty cool on its own. Like, that's that's a cool Princess Peach. I do not mind that in the slightest. Then they show all of her other costumes and I'm like, okay, so Princess Peach in a lot of funny costumes. I am now invested in this. I will... I'm definitely, in my personal time, going to be playing that as well. That's something else on my radar now. Thank you, Super... Thank you, Princess Peach Showtime. That's exciting. As for things that aren't exciting, but I still laughed my ass off about, uh, F-Zero 99 happened. Like, I... You probably saw the leak. Like, there was a leak that there was a new F-Zero game coming out, and I'm kind of on the fence with F-Zero. Like, it's cool that they get a game, you know? I... We had to wait for Pikmin 4, so they can wait for F-Zero. So, I'm glad they got a game. But at the same time, I kind of laughed when I saw that it was another 99 game. I'm not going to lie, I shouldn't have laughed, but I did laugh at the fact that after all this time waiting for F-Zero 99, it's F-Zero. <laughs> for an F-Zero game, it's just a remake of the first game, but it's a 99 person free-to-play battle royal. I'm sorry if one of you is an F-Zero fan that's watching this, or two of you, or three of you, depends on how many see this one. Uh, but, uh, thank you, Bill. Uh, like, the F-Zero games, I was never a fan of them personally. Did it right that time. Uh, I got my gamer status back. F-Zero, never a fan of it. It's hilarious that F-Zero 99 is the new F-Zero game. 
That is hysterical to me. Not as funny for the Donkey Kong fans, like, sorry Uncle Al for that, the DK game that was hinted at in the leak turned out to just be a remake of Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Not even a new Mario vs. Donkey Kong. But Mario vs. Donkey Kong... Oh, he was behind me. I thought he was in the van hole. My bad. Uh, F-Zero... No, I was talking about F-Zero. No, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. They're remaking that one. And they're remaking, like, the first one. The, uh, the puzzle platformer one. Not the, uh... I guess unit management that is many's march again onward. Like, if you like that game, it's cool, but why? They're even using the same like voice audio because you could hear in the trailer the freaking buy them all, buy them all, buy them all. You could hear that, and so they're using the same audio files too. Like, so I don't know why they're doing it. But, hey, cool for you if you like it. I'm not going to judge. Mario RPG. I'm... A lot of people were excited for it at first, so I was like, oh, cool, that's a thing. I'm more of a Paper Mario guy, to be honest. Like, still, happy, happy fun time for the Geno fans and the Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars fans. Probably not going to get it, but... I am happy for them a lot more than I was for some of the other games that got uh, remade. A lot of the other stuff in the trailer was just kind of forgettable, like, like the new, like, It's just that the Joy-Cons don't really work with stuff like that, from what I've seen. Like, I played 1-2-Switch before at a, at a friend's house. And I played uh, Ring, Ring Fit. I've played Ring Fit before. And those Joy-Cons do not do well on their own. Like, that's why I use the Pro Controller for all the Switch games that I own and try to avoid things that require the Joy-Cons. They just don't work as well as other controller things. And you're going to have to use them for this. It's going to be gimmicky. There's no stopping that. So, I love WarioWare, but both of the Switch ones have been kind of just meh for me. Like, I played the crap out of WarioWare Gold. I love WarioWare Gold, but... These two on the Switch just, they just aren't my cup of tea. Like, I kind of was cool with the first one they did. The, uh, I forget what it was even called. It was, like, it was a neat concept, just wasn't for me. This one, though, I'm genuinely not excited for. My prediction for WarioWare Move It is it gets some footage in, like, week one. Like, there's some hype for it. But no one else is going to buy it. Like, it's just going to die out, and it's going to be a... It's going to be a WarioWare... Like, the one DIYWare one, where it's there, and it's a cool concept, but no one's really going to remember it all that well. That is my prediction for Let's Go. Or WarioWare Move It. WarioWare Move It. Also, Mario Kart 8, the, like... The, the deluxe booster pack thing. That's a thing. Like, I bought that today, because eventually I do want to, like, gather the people I play Mario Kart with and play through all the new courses with them, because Mario Kart 8 is fun. It's fun. I'm not denying that it's fun. But I wanted to wait till all of them came out, and since they're coming out at around Christmas time now, or the end of the year, just depends on when it drops, it'll be fun to play Mario Kart again with them. They're also the same people I'm going to, or at least one of them, eh, Pokemon, like the new DLC. I haven't played it yet. I've bought it, 
but I haven't had the chance to play it yet. I want to play it on my own, though. I'm not going to be doing any Switch games for the channel, because I don't have a capture card and I don't want to fiddle with all that. It's all going to be PC games, since that's how this program I'm using works best. And I don't want to fiddle with a capture card and anything like that. That's too complicated. I might work on it in the future if YouTube goes into a whole direction. Probably not, though. Most likely it's just going to be PC games. I guess that was... Oh. Also, um, but yeah, Nintendo Direct, decently good. Like, there were some good announcements. Got some laughs, got some games I'm excited for. Uh, I'm, like, it was a good Direct. Well, like, not the best Direct this year. Not the best one, but it wasn't a bad Direct by any means. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. What else to talk about for my first, uh, for the first stock talk? Why did I do that? Also, did the game just crash? I think the game may have just crashed. Nope, okay, we're good. Okay, cool, they're just ignoring that, so that was a really good use of my pipe. Oh, sorry, uh, I said I wasn't going to talk about the game, this is just me talking while having something on in the background. It's just hard to do both. And I'm not going to do post-commentary, because that is... Or, that requires more effort. This is just more fun for me, is to just talk and play the game at the same time. Thank you, thank you, bot. Uh, okay. So, yeah, there we go. Now, what was I thinking about? As I said before, like, I do have a job outside of this, which is where I'm going to be getting my income stuff. Oh, I've never actually heard that audio before. But yeah, I do have a job outside of this, which is the main reason I'm never going to probably monetize the channel if that's possible. Like, if there's an option to just, hey, would you like to not do this? Like, not become a partner or anything like that? I'm not going to take it. I don't want money. I'm just doing this to maybe entertain anyone that stumbles onto me. Whether that be uh, family, friends, or just the random folks that stumbled onto me. I, that reminds me, thank you guys, like, I did not expect to get anything on the first video I did, like, I went into the first video thinking, no first video does well on any channel. It was going to get zero views, nothing happened. By the time I check it again, it's up to, like, 11. That is 11 times more than what I expected, so... Seriously, thank thank you guys for the support. And then there's also all the support my friends have been giving me. Like Anastasia made the model for me. Thank you. You're a great artist. Uh, Ella and Chris, both part of the TOS crew, both made made the TOS group to give me the confidence to do this. And even, I mean, you guys were my first comments, so I'm not forgetting you guys at all. Well, of course, I wasn't going to beforehand because. You know, you guys gave me my start in voice acting. Assuming I go anywhere with this and it doesn't just crash and burn. No, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Uh, I'm, I'm confident, confidence. Confidence is key. Ah! Uh -huh. But, uh... Oh, hold on, I gotta do the thing again. Did not do the thing again, can confirm. Uh, still, I have re-lost gamer status. Uh... Okay, uh, it's okay, computer. It's okay. We're almost done. We're almost done. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, 
thank you guys for that. And also, uh, Dylan, or, yeah, uh, we'll just call him Dylan. That's the name of the channel he's using, so I don't need to hide it. Uh, he shared my video as well. I don't know why you did it, buddy, but thank you. Like, seriously, to, to everyone that's supporting me in this little side project endeavor of mine, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Like, if I'm entertaining you guys and entertaining anyone else that's in here, then I am the happiest little gooper on the planet. I am very happy, if you guys are happy. That's all I really want. Let's get the hell out of here. Works for me. I'll use the talk for a bit. Uh, so, I really didn't expect the last video to do as well as it did. And I know some people are going to be like, 11 years, that's nothing. No, that's so much better than I thought I was going to go. And, like, I'm, I'm really thank I'm thankful for each one of you guys. Like, so, anything at all is just like, oh, someone watched. Yippee. Oh, okay, they, they were just up there. Cool, too. Cool to know. Good to know. Good to know. But, like, what? Oh, for God. Whoops. I'm not, uh, the ba 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 ba. How did you... How does that happen? That's what I owe you. Go ahead and take this. Cover me. <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm not i I'm not even gonna question that. You 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 do your best to you, Mario. Isn't there like coming back up here? I kinda used a lot of health. There we go. Okay, uh, what was I talking? Yeah, but seriously, thank thank you guys for showing me support already, and I'm gonna hope to keep entertaining you. So, like, the plan for my channel, like, what I'm doing in the future is Thurs, like, some day in the week. I'm hoping Thursday can be the consistent day, but any one day in the week I can, I'm gonna do a little, like, either another one of these stock talks, or I'll just play another game if I have nothing to talk about. And Sunday will be my big uh, recording a game day, which is when I'll be recording more. Uh, that's when I'm going to be recording more Shakedown Hawaii, if you were waiting for another video of that. Sunday, Sunday this week, I'll have another Shakedown Hawaii video up. Like, I'll record it, post it, done, bada boom. That's when, that's when Shakedown Hawaii is going to continue, is Sunday. As for stock talk, I'll just see what you guys think. If you guys like it, I'll keep doing these. If you tell me never do this again, this was a horrible idea, um, then I will listen to that as well, and we will never discuss this again. I'll just put it in a one-off thing. I just I just thought up the name while I was working yesterday, and I was just like, I gotta use this somehow. And I didn't have any games I wanted to play either outside of Shakedown, but I wasn't in a Shakedown mood either, so I was just... Uh, stock talk. Uh, screw it. It'll just be a segment where I talk about stuff. What can I talk about? Uh, who am I? Things. And then I saw the Nintendo Direct. I was like, oh, I could probably milk that for a while. At least through something quick. And, hey, it's Left 4 Dead on easy. Like, like the Left 4 Dead people that are know this, I, I'm playing on easy. I'm not playing on a on the diff, more difficult things. I was never like a competitive Left 4 Dead player. I used to play this a lot with my dad, though. Like, me and my dad used to play a lot of Left 4 Dead. I'd always be either Bill or Ellis, depending on the map. He would always be Coach or Francis. And that was like our, that was our bonding game for a few years. Like, we'd just go around, we'd kill zombies. 
Uh, he would activate every car on purpose. Uh, I would do most of the, like, adjective-based things. And he would do most of the killing zombies. We were, we're, we were a good team in Left 4 Dead. And then there is... I, I, I alluded to a thing saying that someone... Well, I was going to play Pokemon with someone. That would, that person is my mom. Like, ever since Sun and Moon, which was when I introduced her to Pokemon, and I just died. Well then. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm not even mad. That was, that was just funny. Oh boy. I said I hadn't played in a while. Okay, okay, okay. Focus, focus, focus. But, uh, yeah. Uh, my mom. She, like, I introduced her to video gaming as well. Uh, it was started with, like, puzzle games. Uh, she, she loved Plants vs. Zombies. She's mostly a mobile mo mobile game player now. She's she's better at it than I am half the time. Not I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm just like, wow, how far have you come, mom? Like, at first it was just playing games on one of the DSs. Now it's anytime she's at home, she's playing on her either doing a puzzle or she's on one of her mobile games. Hold on, we gotta go back. Well, I can't exactly get him now, so... Uh, good, good luck, Zoe. But never mind. It, this is going terribly. I'm here. Ooh. But yeah, I'm just... Yeah, I... So now, okay, remember, I remember where I was. Uh, remember the story. Or I guess just the little tidbit we're going into here. Uh, I now play Pokemon games with my mom. Like, it started with Sun and Moon. I got her into this. She loved Alola. And since then, any new generation that comes out, we just kind of play through it together. Did it through Sword and Shield. We went... A decent way through Brilliant Diamond and Pearl before we kind of just both gave up. And Scarlet and Violet, we also did that. And now that the DLC is out, that's going to be back. We're going to play through the Scarlet and Violet DLC together, and that's that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, on the same thought process, Scarlet and Violet DLC, I'm... I mentioned that already. I, I don't know why I'm going to bring it up again, but I've 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 been a Pokemon fan for a while. Like Pokemon was one of the three games that got me started, because my first thing was like a DS. Like a DS was my first major console that I remember having, and that con like that thing that console. The three main games I played on it were Animal Crossing Wild World, Super Mario, Super Mario 64 DS, and Pokemon Diamond. My sister got Pearled, I got Diamond. I never really got too far in any of the games my first time around. And I never got too good. I It took me a while to figure out how to video game. So, uh, th I'll, this is one of my more embarrassing things involving Super Mario, Super Mario 64 DS. It took me about two years to figure out you could you could dash. So I would always get stuck on Koopa the Quick because I just kind of walked everywhere. I didn't know there was a run button. 
I never read any of the signs. I never knew any of them told me anything. Eventually, when I discovered it, yeah, I just finally was able to finish that and eventually beat the whole game. Not 100%. That, that took a few more years when I finally came back to it. But, yeah. Uh, Super Mario 64 DS. Pokemon Diamond, which I did decently well with Diamond. Uh, and Animal Crossing Wild World. I also have some history with that. That, that's what got me to like more casual games. Was Wild World. I mean, it, I haven't played a lot of casual games on here. I mean, the two games I've played so far have been Shakedown and then Left for Dead 2. Like, I. Should probably be playing more casual games since that's more my motif anyway. I don't know, maybe I'll buy Stardew Valley one of these days and give that a spin. I was recommended that by a friend on Steam one time, and then I just kind of forgot about it. And then I remember, and then I forget, and it's a whole thing. Uh, may, may, maybe I can get that myself as a goodie for Christmas, who knows. Just do this for mercy points. Um, but yeah, three, those from uh, Wild World, Wild World. Now that, that's where I was. That's where I was. I I didn't do anything too impressive in Wild World. I'll be honest. Most of my time was spent figuring out why the angry mole man was yelling at me, because I kept forgetting to save. I never, I kept forgetting to save, and then I'd have to go up to my sister or my mother or my father and be like. Can you help me? The angry mole man is screaming at me again. And that would be their thing. I mean, I've gotten a little, I've gotten a little better in later years, but I'm still nowhere near a professional when it comes to games. Like, I still play them. Like, I still enjoy them. I just finished Pikmin 4, for instance. Uh... I 100 percent of it, if you don't count the Great Sage. Like the, the Sage of the Leaf, or whatever it's called. I, I didn't do that one, admittedly. I only made it to uh, the fifth one. Okay, there we go. Just gonna heal this really quick and then run the rest of the way. Alright, I guess we're finishing up the stock talk here since this is about to end. Uh, yeah, I finished Pikmin 4, so I, I'm getting better at games. I'm getting better at games. Like, I'm not a pro in the slightest, but I'm getting better. And I'm certainly leagues better than I was when I was a youngin. And, alright, there we go. Uh, finished a campaign. Uh, so I guess this is going to conclude the first ever Stock Talk. Thank you guys for tuning in, I guess. I uh, hope you were at least a little entertained. If you weren't, I apologize for that, except I wasn't supposed to keep apologizing. Whoops. Hey, uh, let me know if you enjoyed Stock Talk, if I should do more of these, if... Uh, Rip Van says he, he died in the elevator. Uh, let me know if you want me to keep doing these, if you want me to never do these, and just stick to playing games and focusing on that. And I will see you in the next video that I publish, which will be this Sunday. More Shakedown Hawaii, coming this Sunday.
See you then. Bye.